stress. Almighty God, who in thy wisdom and goodness has appointed the offices of rulers and parliament for the welfare of society and just government of men. We beseech thee to behold with thy abundant favor us thy servants, whom thou hast been pleased to call to the performance of important trust in this land. Let thy blessing descend upon us here in this house assembled. Grant us that we may treat and consider all matters that shall come under our deliberation in so just and faithful a manner to promote thy honor and glory to advance the peace, prosperity, and welfare of this country and of those whose interests thou hast committed to our charge. Amen. Correction and approval of the records of votes on proceedings of the National Assembly sitting of Thursday, 16 March 2023. Honorable members, the record of votes and proceedings of Thursday, 16th March 2023, is before us for correction and approval. Can any honorable member move a motion for correction and approval of the said record of votes and proceedings? Honorable Member for Sabak Sanyal. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. I rise to move that the record of votes and proceedings of the National Assembly sittings of Thursday, 16th March 2023, be corrected and approved. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any second, Honorable Members? Honorable Member for Kiang Central. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. I rise to second the motion. It has been moved and seconded that the record of votes and proceedings of the National Assembly sitting of Thursday, 16th March 2023 be considered and approved. Honorable members, as usual, You can begin to make observations on the issues, on the proceedings. We go through the record of votes and proceedings, page by page as usual, beginning with page one.
Honorable members, we can now move to page two. Honorable member for Kiang East. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Um, on Thursday, I was absent. I was not here. I refer us to the number. Number the 19. Number 19. Pardon? Number 19. Number 19. Yes. On page 2. Page 2, yes. That is Yaya Gassam. Exactly, yes. Uh -huh. You said you were not. I was not here. And you are marked present? Uh, yes. On, on Wednesday, I called Halifa and informed me that I was going for a test, for a medical test on Thursday, so I wasn't around. But you were here when I was making a ruling on that? On the, on the yes, I was. Commission. I was. Uh-huh, okay. Honorable members, Honorable Yaya Gashama of Kiang East, number 19 on page 2, should be removed from those present and taken to those not present. Any more observations on page two? Honorable members, we now move to page three. Honorable member for Woolley East. Okay, thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, the second paragraph of page three, where it is mentioned member for Brikama. We can remove that Brikama there and just maintain control. Page three. On page three. Yes. The paragraph. The second paragraph, which says, Honorable Bileji Tungara, member for Brikama. We remove the Brikama and just maintain control. <laughs> I have not seen that. I just paid four. Ah, okay, sorry. I thought, okay. Ah, uh, okay. You are, on, you are on page four. Okay, okay, okay. When we read there, all right. No more table members on page three. Then we can move to page four. Yes, honorable member for Wool East. You said Bilegi, Bilegi Tunkara. Yes, uh, the second paragraph where you say Bilegi Tunkara, member for Birkama Kantora. So we yeah, can, we remove we, the word we Birkama remove. and leave Kantora. Thank you very much. Noted. Any order on page four? Okay, honorable members, it has been moved and seconded that the record of votes and proceedings of the National Assembly sitting of Thursday, 16th March 2023 be approved with amendments. Those in favor, please say aye. Those not in favor, please say no. The ayes have it. Clerk, can we proceed? Orders 72 and 73, Committee of the Whole House and Consideration Stage. One, Committee of the Whole House and Consideration Stage 
on the local government amendment bill 2022. Uh, Honorable Ajayes Dago, member from the Commonwealth. Honorable members, honorable members, we recall that the local government amendment bill 2023 was committed to the committee of the whole assembly by the assembly business committee for consideration stay. Accordingly, in accordance with order 662 B1 of the standing orders, the committee stay on the said bill is scheduled for today. During the consideration stage, honorable members shall have the opportunity to give detailed consideration and scrutiny to every clause of the bill. This stage also provides the first opportunity for amendments to the bill to be debated and voted on. I will now therefore resolve the assembly into the committee of the whole assembly to give consideration to the bill. Honorable members, the assembly now resolves into the community of the whole assembly. The assembly will now go into the committee of the whole assembly to consider the local government amendment bill 2022, clause by clause. We will be guided by orders 70 and 71 of the standing orders during the consideration stage. We now invite the clerk and we go into the bill clause by clause. Clause one, short title. It is proposed that clause one stands part of the bill. Yeah. Chair. Yes, please. Yes, the, the, if you look at the short title of the bill, it is 2022. So when we are doing it today, I believe we should put 2023 there. Should be Act 2023 instead. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's, that, that's the stage we are now. You can make proposals and amendments to the various clauses. Yes, so you are proposing, proposing that we yes. amend it to 2023. Who is? Yes. yes. Any seconder? Yes. Yes, Honorable. Yes, it's, it's been moved and seconded. Then let's amend it. The act may be cited as the Local Government Amendment Act 2023 instead of 2022. Any more, any more proposals or observations on, uh, on clause one? Now we go.
Honorable members, it is proposed that clause 1 stands part of the bill as amended. Those in favor, please say aye. Not in favor, please say no. The ayes have it. Clause 1 now stands part of the bill. Clerk. Clause 2, amendment of CAP 3301. It is proposed that Clause 2, amendment of CAP 3301, stands part of the bill. Those in favor, please say aye. Not in favor, please say no. The eyes have it. Oh, that be yeah, exactly. yeah, it looks like people have not had their breakfast. Clause 3. Sir. Amendment of Section 9A. It is proposed that Clause 3. Amendment of Section 9A stand part of the bill. Those in favor, please say aye. Those not in favor, please say no. The ayes have it. Clause 4, Amendment of Section 19. It is proposed that Clause 4, Amendment of Section 19 stand part of the bill. Yes, Honorable Minority Leader. Honorable K, I would like to propose amendment to the said proposal and the amendment, the copy has been circulated to members. We could now read section 19 of the principal act is amended in subsection 1 by A, removing the word or at the end of the paragraph E and be substituting for the full stop in paragraph F and a semicolon and the word O. And then the insertion can come, that is inserting the following new paragraph immediately after paragraph F, which reads G upon dissolution of the council. I so propose. Honorable members, any seconder to the proposed amendment? Uh, Honorable member for Kieran is second. Honorable members, it is proposed that clause four, amendment of section 19, stand part of the bill as amended. Those in favor, please say aye. aye. Those not in favor, please say no. The ayes have it. Clause five, amendment of section 20. It is proposed that Clause 5, Amendment of Section 20, stand part of the bill. Yes, Majority and Member of Kantora. Thank you very much, um, Chair, for giving the floor. I want to propose uh, to expunge Section 20 in reference to the Supreme Court decision. If you look at the ruling, Section 20 of the Government Act, which contains provision for the removal of office of members of council, is not inconsistent with any provision of the Constitution in intra vires and therefore valid, which means there is no need for us to amend. The court decision is saying that it's valid. So I'm, I'm proposing for, um, to expunge the entire uh, 20. Thank you. The proposal is that the ent uh, clause, yeah, I'm coming. It is proposed that the entire clause 20 
be expunged from the bill. Any seconder? Okay. It's seconded. Yes, I will, I will invite you, Honorable Minority. Yes? Yeah, I, I, I want to maintain the proposal to leave uh, Section 20, that is for the removal of the member from office. The procedure here has given that autonomy to members to be involved in the removal process and where they need arise for the Chief Justice to be involved in appointing the tribunal instead of the minister. I think it is very ideal we will leave the proposal as earlier on proposed. Honorable members, any seconder to that, to, to, to the other proposal? The contract proposal, any seconder? That we retain it as it is. Where, which member? Yes, honorable, it's seconded by the honorable member for Central Badibu. Honorable members, we find ourselves in a 22 situation. There is proposal. Yes, I will allow you. There are two proposals on the floor. It may mean that we have to, we may have to resort to vote yeah. to resolve it. Yes, honourable member for Serekuna West. Yeah. Before we resort to uh, vote, would it be ideal for us to um, get a legal advice since the Minister of, Just the Minister of Justice is around? Can he throw light on that for us before we vote? Honorable members, the proposal is we invite the Honorable Minister, the Attorney General and the Minister of Justice to express an opinion on it, legal opinion on it. It's not a bill of the Honorable Minister. No, it's, it's not. Yeah. Honorable members, Honorable members, please. It's Anybody who wants to comment, just raise your tag. We will give everybody an opportunity to talk. That's a, that's a proposal from the Honorable Member for Serekunda West. Yes, minority, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I'm trying to say it's not a proposal, the, the, the bill of the Honorable Minister. We have our legal team. I would like them to shed light on it. They can speak. Your legal team but cannot I'm do that now. I'm trying to say I hold on to the proposal because there is going to be that lacuna if this provision is not in place. If members want to remove a member for reasons of abuse of office, corruption, misconduct, and any other the provision of the members, involvement of the members should be there. And then what was against the position of the members is for the involvement of the minister and the president in the process. But here, after the member's process is exhausted, it can be forwarded to, the, uh, to the, the, the chief justice, for the chief justice to set a tribunal. And that is in course. It is upon the recommendation of the chief justice, then there the members can now move to remove the member based on the ruling by the tribunal. So oh, if chair. the tribunal is not there, that would be that lacuna. Chair, okay. Can I be heard? Honorable Thank uh, you. member for control. Huh? Yeah, reason why I come up with a proposal, we have to be constitutionally inclined. Anything we're doing, it has to be in tandem or in, in line with the constitution. And the constitution does provide this process. So bringing a new element of tribunal here and there, you are going inconsistent to the constitution. And that is why in the ruling of the Supreme Court, they made it crystal clear that it is therefore valid and uh, uh, intravirus. Thank you very much. Yeah, honorable members, I, I, I don't know why we should oppose hearing from the Attorney General. I mean, it's an opinion. His opinion may differ from yours. He can say A, you say B. That's why you are here. 
So the Honorable Member for Serekunda West, why don't we allow an, another legal opinion and see? Do you need that? Yes, we need it. Yes. 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 No, okay. No. No. All right, okay. Yes. Honorable yes. members, it looks it looks from the murmurs and comments, it looks like you just don't want to invite the Honorable Minister. Maybe lower salary. Oh, he wants to do it. Chair. Yes, Honorable Member for Nyamina Dankunku. Uh, thank you very much, Chair. Uh, chair. Uh, Honorable Chair, what we have here is very easy. And if we make a reflection on the debate we made during the second reading, uh, we all bank our, our support of the bill based from the ruling of the Supreme Court. Now, I think this is very easy. What the Supreme Court told us in the, in the, in the amendment is against the Constitution. We can um, actually do away with that one. What the Supreme Court told us is in line with the Constitution. We can, um, we can, we, we can go with that one. At least that would definitely help us. I like, I like honorable, honorable member. Yes, honorable member for... Yes, Speaker, I, I definitely seconded uh, Minority Leader, but after reading the ruling made by the Supreme Court, I'm convinced that it's intra-virus, so therefore stand valid. Uh, honorable member for Woolly East. Yes, what I want, what I want the mover to do, uh, what I want the mover to do is to to read, ah, uh, Senator Badu, the mover to read to read the amendment, whatever amendment you want to read it in full. Let us hear what you are saying. No, I'm, honorable Speaker, can honorable I make speaker. Cl I'm clarification here? Hello. Um, it says in is inconsistent. If the mover of the motion, the proposal he is making, let him, you know, the... There are two the movers proposal. of the motion. Huh? With who? There, there are two motions. Here. There are two motions on the floor. No, no, no. You know, the, the original motion. Yeah, okay, the okay. The mover of the motion. Okay. The, yes, let him read. The, the original motion... No, no. Honorable, he is making a suggestion. He is saying that... You said what? Woolly is... One the mover of the motion to read in, in total what the amendment he is proposing. What is the amendment in total? Even you put your words together. Honorable member. Honorable member. Uh, clause 20 is on page, pages 2, 3, and 3, and even 4. That's too long. I think we all, let's all, all of us read it. So, so for us to make an informed decision. May I ask member for Cantora? There is a proposal on the floor. We're proposing, we propose to be expunged. That's a proposal based on the uh, inconsistency of the current provision of the Constitution. All right. Yeah. I think some okay. people don't understand. Please, can we, we understand? We understand. Let's 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 go to the the parent uh, section of the act. The parent section of the act reads: subject to sex, uh, subsection two, a chairperson, deputy chairperson, or other number of council may be removed from office by a resolution supported by two-thirds of all the members of the council on any of the following grounds. Abuse of office, corruption, misconduct, or such physical or mental incapacity as would render him or her incapable of discharging the duties of the office. That's for one. 
And two for the purpose of removing the chairperson, deputy chairperson, or other member of a council under subsection one of this section, a notice in writing signed by not less than two thirds of all members of the council shall be submitted to the deputy chairperson. In the case of the removal of the chairperson, and to the chairperson, in the case of removal of the deputy chairperson, or any other number of council. A stating that they intend to pass a resolution to remove the person, deputy chairperson, or other member of the council, as the case may be, or any of the grounds are set out in subsection 1 above. B setting out in the case of removal under subsection 1 on, uh, uh, other than paragraph D, the particulars of the charge supported by the necessary documents were applicable on which it is claimed that the conduct of the care person, deputy care person, or other member of the council, as the case may be, be investigated for the purpose of removal. The care person or deputy care person, as the case may be, shall within 24 hours after receipt of the notice referred to him or her under subsection 2, cause a copy of the notice to be May transmitted observe, to the minister. Care. The minister said, now we are here is involving the minister. The minister said, on receiving the notice under subsection 1, 3, on the following or any finding of irregularity that concern any action of omission or by chairperson, deputy chairperson, or other member of the council by commission of inquiry institute under subsection 1, 5, a suspend the chairperson. Now the minister is supposed to suspend the chairperson. Deputy chairperson or other member of the council concerned in which case the deputy chairperson shall act as chairperson and councillor appointed by the member of the council from among the elected members. B. Investigate the allegation contained contain in the notice and report its finding to the president. Now the president is also involved in the process. Stating whether or not there is a case for the removal of the care person, deputy care person, or other member of the council. The, May the I one. One. Yeah. Now what we are amending, this is what we are amending. Now it is followed like this. The one will remain subject to subsection two, a paragraph of the council. May, a, a, a council may be, sorry, a member of the council may be removed from office by a resolution by two-thirds of all the members of the council on any of the following grounds, abuse, uh, corruption, misconduct, or in fiscal capacity. Yes, no. then well, the difference... The move to the major difference between what is... The, the major difference now will be... If I understand it, my um, uh, Yes, I'm coming down. It's four. Yeah, four. The major yeah. difference will now be under four. Where will not have the involvement of the minister and that of the president, will have the chairperson or deputy chairperson, as the case may be, shall within five days after receipt of the notice, instead of minister now, is the chairperson, and transmit a copy of it to the chief justice. The minister the, to the chief justice the minister and in the member in question, the chief justice shall within 10 working days after receipt of Hello, the yeah. notice constitute the tribunal. Yes. This is uh, where the difference is. Yes. Constitute the tribunal to investigate the allegation contained in the notice. Yes. Uh, minority. And report its findings to the council. Yes, minority. Then I think the major difference from your record, yes. is that instead of making inference to the minister, and the you want it to the, to, mm. to the Supreme, Supreme Court, Court. Yes. Uh, yes. to the Chief Justice, to, for the Chief Justice to set the tribunal. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. Instead yeah. of the minister, it's the Chief Justice. Chief Justice. So, so, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. That's, uh, the major, that's, that's the major difference. Chair. Yes, yes, member for Lower Salu. Thank you, um, Honorable Chair. You know, uh, my Lord Leader, the job is making, um, the, the judgment make this work easy for us. And we all debate through this, um, how to call it, um, um, judgment. 
and the member for Serunda, let's allow the minister. We have to trust our own people that we put in office. Let him advise us legally, because he's not legal minded. I'm not legal minded. Let him advise us legally, please. Honorable sir. Honorable member, I think that suggestion came up, Honorable and there speaker. were murmurs, and it looks like people don't want that. Honorable speaker. Yes, honorable member, member for all you know. Yes, and I think um, it's very easy here. The judgment on section 20 is very clear. You see, even if you want to bring the minister to come and give an opinion, it's just going to be the same. I think what we need to do is to go into voting. If they disagree, we vote and then move on. This minority, is yeah. Clear. Yeah, thank you very much, Chair. Yeah. I think uh, um, minority needs to understand. We are trying to regularize um, the, the, the lacunas to join him and then make sure that any provision that is found void, we'll, we are in agreement with that. When any judgment also found valid, and also uh, it's also not even in concern with the law, uh, the constitution, that's the supreme law, uh, we, uh, we should stand to support that. So my, provision, my, my solution is to expunge the uh, sec, uh, proposal of section 20 uh, from the uh, bill. Thank you. Honorable members, we will, I will now put the final question. And if there are disagreements, we will go into, I'm not entertaining any more comments. We are now going to, I'm going to put, put a question. If we have dissenting voices, we go into a vote. Honorable members, it is proposed that section 20, removal of a member from office, be expunged from the bill. Those in favor, please say aye. aye. Those not in favor, please say no. No. The ayes have it. No. 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 Yeah. The, from uh, honourable members, from what I have heard, the eyes had it, but uh, there, is, there is claim to be a division, and if there is that claim for a division, we will go into a vote. So, minority, you are claiming that the eyes don't have it. <laughs> okay, honourable members, now, class, get up. We will now put it to a vote. Those in favor of the motion that the section 20 be removed from the bill, please raise your, raise your tax. Who said no, please raise your tag. <laughs> Honorable members, the results of the votes. On which year? May I observe? Observe who? Who am I going to observe? No, the absence, I mean, you need to also, um, uh, for correct um, procedure, the absence, who doesn't favor the yes or no? You, you, to, you to, uh, um, count them also, we don't know that. Yes. Honorable members, the results of the votes. Those for yes, 28 votes. Those who, those for no, eight. So the ayes have it. 
honorable members clause 20 is now expunged clause Honorable members, if you look at it, clause 5, that's the amendment of section 20, we are going to expound that. It will therefore mean there will be no amendment to section 20. So it is proposed, yeah, sorry, I put the question. Now, clause, clause 5, amendment of section 20 is expunged from the bill. Amendment of section 21. Close. Close. Honorable members, it is proposed that clause 6, amendment of section 21, stand part of the bill. Any comments? Yes. yes, Honorable Member for Become or North. Amendment to the proposal, and which you will now read, uh, 21, right of appeal, A, the chairperson, deputy chairperson, or other member of the council who is removed from office on the ground set out in subsection 1, A, B, or C of section 20, Appeal to the Court of Appeal within 14 days of the report of the tribunal that the allegation contained in the notice has been substantiated. This one of the Court of Appeal and any order under subsection 1 shall be delivered within 30 days of the filing of the appeal. I propose. Can you help us with the principal act proposed, that is proposed for amendment so that they will understand better? Yes. Principal, are the chairperson, deputy chairperson, or other member of the council who was removed from office on the ground set out in subsection 1 ABC of the subsection 20 may appeal to the High Court within 14 days of the decision of the, pres of, of the President removing him or her. That is for High Court now to Court of Appeal. And this one of the High Court, that is the Court of Appeal, on any of the appeal by a chairperson under section one, subsection 1 shall be delivered within 14 days of the filing of the appeal and shall be final. So here, shall be final is also out. And then where we have the high court is out for court of appeal. Because if there is an appeal at the, high, at the court of appeal, there is room for appeal to the uh, Supreme Court. If you say it's final, by, that is contravening the law. Yeah, with the issue of final, uh, I think that can be considered. But I think uh, the removal of Section 20 uh, has some revibrant effect on this one. You know, you cannot remove Section 20. Uh, and then on the uh, Honorable Speaker, because the two amendments where, where, where there is that order, uh, now that means since we have not amended section 20, that means the amendment can only be limited to high court to court of appeal. And then the final one that is the, uh, in, uh, is final, that one also can be removed. 
because the rest of the part has connection to 20. Since that is not there, then that means we don't need uh, the other areas. Yeah. So we only amend High Court to Court of wait, Appeal, wait, and then the, the appeal is final, also be amended. I, I hope you understand my point. What I'm saying here, in the previous proposal for amendment, we leave as it is, that is for high court to be changed to court of appeal. And then the parent act, the last word, shall be final. Because if you say you appeal to the court of appeal, it cannot be final. You have room for appeal at the Supreme Court. So that one also be removed. Honourable member, I think I want to believe that if it had been amended, if members had agreed to the amendment, then you have gone to the appeal court. But so far, it remains as it is from the minister, you appeal to the high court. Minister Dixon, you appeal to the high court. So I think the high court should remain. What should be out is that final something on the constitution. Chair, uh, Chair, where, where, what, what is the final distinction? Where you have final something. Chair. Final. Uh, if you look at uh, if you look at uh, section twenty one twenty one two yes twenty one two yes yeah can you read it? The decision of the High Court on any appeal by care posing under subsection one shall be delivered within thirty days of the filling of the appeal and shall be final. So that last phrase shall be final. Uh -huh. that, 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 that should, there should be room to yeah. appeal to these things. Call so we remove and shall be final. Shall be final, yes. Come up. Yeah, thank you. I um, looking at the, what we did in section 20 to expunge that. So I think the way it's drafted in the appeal, like the way it is, that section 20 of the principal act is amended by deleting the word high court wherever they occur in subsection uh, 1, 2, and substitution by court of appeal in case. I think uh, that is okay. Um, that is speaking the language of the, the local government um, uh, um, act and the uh, issue of stability.